On September 2, 2025, Japan officially unveiled its first domestically produced Patria AMV XP 8x8 armored personnel carrier at the Mororan plant of Japan Steel Works, marking a major milestone in the modernization of the Japan Ground Self Defense Force. The rollout ceremony was attended by General Arai, Chief of Staff of the Ground Self Defense Force, who confirmed that the first serial units would begin operational deployment before the end of the current fiscal year. This event represents the culmination of years of planning, trials, and industrial preparation, highlighting Japan's commitment to strengthening both its defense capabilities and domestic defense production. With the introduction of the AMV XP, Japan becomes the ninth country to operate the Patria AMV family, joining nations such as Finland, Poland, Slovenia, Croatia, the United Arab Emirates, Sweden, and Slovakia. The AMV platform has a long-standing international reputation for reliability and versatility, having been deployed in various operational theaters, including Afghanistan, Yemen, and Ukraine. By joining this established user community, Japan gains access to a proven platform with extensive combat experience while simultaneously ensuring the domestic manufacturing of these vehicles through a licensed production agreement with Japan Steelworks. The decision to adopt the AMV XP followed the country's wheeled armored personnel carrier, WAPC, program, initiated to replace the aging Type 96 8x8 APCs that have been in service since the 1990s. Comparative trials were held in 2021 at the Fuji School Grounds, where the Patria AMV XP competed against prototypes from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, while General Dynamics LAV 6.0 was excluded due to delays and procurement disagreements. Patria had been involved in the Japanese program since 2018 and established a local subsidiary, Patria Japan Limited, to facilitate negotiations, cooperation, and long-term industrial collaboration. In August 2023, a licensing agreement with Japan Steel Works was signed, enabling full domestic production. The September 2025 rollout marked the successful transition from evaluation and testing to serial production and operational integration. Japan's procurement plan for the AMV XP has been structured across multiple fiscal years to maintain operational continuity and gradually replace the Type 96 fleet. The Ministry of Defense allocated funds for 26 vehicles in FI 2023 at a total cost of 136 billion yen, 28 vehicles in FI 2024 at 200 billion yen, and an additional 28 vehicles in FI 2025 at 225 billion yen, bringing the total to 82 vehicles funded thus far at a combined cost of 561 billion yen. Long-term planning envisions a fleet of up to 810 vehicles, including multiple variants, each expected to remain in service for approximately two decades. This carefully phased procurement underscores both the strategic importance of the program and the industrial commitment to domestic production, with Japan Steel Works serving as the primary manufacturer. Major subsystems, including 140 Scania engines, have been ordered to support the initial production batches and ensure a smooth supply chain. The Patria AMV XP emphasizes modularity, adaptability, and a balance between protection and mobility. The baseline configuration for Japan features a combat weight of 32 tons, a payload capacity of up to 15 tons, and a length of 8.1 meters, width of 2.8 meters, and hull height of 2.4 meters. Propulsion is provided by a six-cylinder inline diesel engine delivering 450 kilowatts of power and 2,140 newton meters of torque, coupled with an automatic 7 plus 2 transmission and continuous all-wheel drive. The vehicle's hydropneumatic suspension, independent axles, central tire inflation, run-flat inserts, and optional rear axle steering allow it to reach speeds exceeding 100 km per hour and operate across ranges of 800 to 1000 km. The AMV XP is capable of negotiating gradients of up to 60%, side slopes of 30%, 
vertical obstacles of 0.7 meters, trenches up to 2.1 meters, and fording depths of 1.8 meters, with optional amphibious kits enabling water speeds between 6 and 9 kilometers per hour. Protection and adaptability are core elements of the AMV XP design. The vehicle features modular ballistic armor and mine protection exceeding Stanag 4A 4B standards, along with compatibility with both active and passive survivability systems. The personnel carrier variant seats a crew of 3 plus 12 dismounted soldiers, offering a modular interior designed to integrate modern C4I systems, battlefield management tools, situational awareness technology, and health monitoring capabilities. The vehicle's electrical system generates 350 amperes of power, with an optional 560 ampere output to support current and future onboard systems. Its versatile platform allows for a wide range of weapon configurations, including small and medium caliber turrets, the Patria Nemo 120mm mortar system, direct fire guns up to 120mm, and missile systems for both anti-tank and anti-aircraft operations. This versatility enables the AMV XP to function as a troop carrier, reconnaissance vehicle, command post, or fire support platform within a single fleet structure. The operational history and international adoption of the AMV XP were influential in Japan's selection process. The platform's deployment in combat and peacekeeping operations across multiple continents has demonstrated its reliability, survivability, and tactical flexibility. By joining an established user base, Japan benefits from shared knowledge, operational experience, and established support networks. Simultaneously, the licensing agreement with Japan Steelworks ensures that domestic production and sustainment capabilities are fully secured, reinforcing Japan's defense industrial base. The September 2025 rollout, therefore, not only marks the entry of a new vehicle into service but also solidifies a long-term industrial partnership between Patria and Japan Steelworks, guaranteeing both production continuity and logistical support for decades to come. The transition from the Type 96 to the AMV XP represents a major step in modernizing Japan's armored vehicle fleet. The older Type 96 vehicles, introduced in the 1990s, offered limited modularity and protection compared to modern standards. The AMV XP provides enhanced survivability, increased payload, and flexible mission adaptability, enabling the transportation of infantry in standard squad formations while remaining capable of supporting a wide range of operational roles. This modernization ensures that Japan's forces are better prepared for homeland defense, regional contingencies, and international peacekeeping missions. The Japanese Ministry of Defense has emphasized that the AMV XP fleet will be integrated into the ground self-defense force with long-term flexibility in mind. The vehicles are designed to accommodate upgrades, variant development, and new technologies over their expected 20-year service life. This approach allows Japan to maintain a single, standardized platform that can evolve in response to emerging threats and operational requirements, reducing logistical complexity while maximizing effectiveness. The combination of domestic production, scalable design, and international operational pedigree provides both strategic assurance and operational confidence. As deliveries begin, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force will gradually phase out the Type 96 vehicles, replacing them with the AMV XP across multiple units. The new APCs will enhance troop protection and mobility, improve operational efficiency, and provide commanders with a versatile platform capable of performing a wide range of tactical missions. The integration of modular weapon systems, digitalized interiors, and advanced communication networks will allow for seamless coordination with other units and support the implementation of future combat innovations. The rollout of the first mass-produced AMV XP also demonstrates Japan's commitment to its domestic defense industry. By producing the vehicles locally, Japan ensures the security of its supply chain, 
creates high-tech jobs, and strengthens its industrial base. The collaboration between Patria and Japan Steelworks serves as a model for international technology transfer, combining foreign expertise with domestic manufacturing capability to achieve a sustainable, long-term production program. In conclusion, the introduction of the Patria AMV XP marks a transformative moment for Japan's ground self-defense force. With superior protection, modularity, mobility, and weapon versatility, the new APCs offer a significant enhancement over the aging Type 96 fleet. The phased procurement plan, domestic production arrangements, and long-term fleet modernization strategy collectively ensure that Japan's armored forces will remain capable, adaptable, and ready for a wide spectrum of missions for decades. The AMV XP rollout not only reflects a modernization of hardware but also reinforces Japan's strategic autonomy, industrial capability, and operational readiness in an increasingly complex security environment.